Hmm. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol QS Quantum Skip. Uh, this is a company that we've covered here on the channel multiple times. You guys know that this is, a, I mean, I believe in technology that's going to change the way we do things. And so this company came out and just blasted through the market, uh, went from like a no name trading under $9 by the start of the year. And today the company is somewhere at about a hundred and something dollars trading. So um, I want to give you guys some price prediction and see where if it's an entry point that some of you guys that missed out on the opportunity, you can start looking at, start getting into the stock. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, guys, the best way you can support my work here, there's several ways you can, but the best way is just to give that thumbs up and share this video with somebody that you think would find it useful. So Quantum Skip, for uh, you guys that haven't uh, you know, read about the company or know anything about the company, I did a detailed video really going in-depth, looking at the uh, investor presentation, which I can hook up here, so you can definitely go check that out. So today, my focus is just going to be on the price movement for this company because if we look at what they are predicting, the future of this company is crazy. You're thinking about Tesla being Tesla. Um, if these guys can, the, the technology that they're building, if it, if it actually works, and again, that, that's a caveat, if it works, because right now it's a concept. They've shown some tests um, and the numbers were just crazy because I saw people at MIT and Yale and all these big uh, universities really drooling over the technology, the research that's going on. So I, I think, again, for me, I, I'm looking at, hey, if this is breakthrough technology, I don't want to sit on the sideline. I want to get in on this one and watch it and be along for the ride. Because most people that are turning their back on Tesla, look at someone like Jim Cramer. He didn't come around to start really being bullish on Tesla until 2020. So again, I, when I look at technologies like this, I, I'm going to risk some money and put it in there and make sure that I can go along for the ride. So again, what happened in the market? What happened to Quantum Escape? That's what we're going to be looking again today. Um, you can see here, this is the one month movement. So if we look here, this is November 30th. The stock was trading at about $43, right? And then fast forward um, to December 22nd, the stock was at $131 and some change. And then since December 22nd, it's decided to pull back down, tested 110, came down to uh, as, as low as even uh, uh, 101, uh, which is today. And guys, this company has, again, to, in my opinion, as potential, but the risk is very high because it's not a profitable company. They don't have any sales yet. So we're just buying a concept until they start selling and start showing some revenue, this company is still a very, very risky company. So again, think about investing in Tesla in the early days before they started manufacturing. This is what you're gonna be doing with Quantum Escape. Um, surprisingly for these guys, they came out straight out of the gate because of the fact that we already have EV cars out there. They're just looking for better batteries. That is why Quantum Escape came out just jumping. So let's see exactly what happened um, uh, Tuesday. This is Tuesday. So the price actually dropped down to uh, $96. So guys, I did trade this stock. So I bought it at 96. It went up to, I think, 103. I sold it. Again, I have a position in the stock, so today I was just day trading it. But then, for those of you that don't have uh, a position in this particular stock, this would have been a spot that you can start picking up some shares. When you see a dip like this, you pick up maybe one, two, or three, and just hold it. If, if, it, if it comes back again, you keep adding, but you don't wait and think that you have to just wait until you have a lot of money to go in and buy because it's not it's not a cheap stock i mean we're talking the stock that was trading at 130 dollars just about a week ago so again when you see pullbacks like this this is an opportunity for you to get in and buy some and just hold and see uh what happens so again for quantum skip 
I, I'm bullish on this. We're gonna see uh, maybe some up and downs, but um, as you see opportunities like this under a hundred dollars, you start picking up, start picking up some shares and loading up on this thing because as soon as we have well, the new administration comes in, they they, they promise to go uh, hard on EV. They want to push EV as hard as they can. So you're gonna see. Companies like Quantum Scape skyrocket. You're gonna see Quantum Scape. This thing can go easily to two, three hundred dollars next year. I mean, like it, it's just gonna. The way I'm seeing it, if they start proving the technology and start really testing it in vehicles, this thing is gonna blow up massively. So under a hundred dollars to me, it's a place where you don't want to skip it. You want to make sure that you catch that one under a hundred dollars and hold it and just see if another opportunity comes around. You catch it. QuantumScape to me has shown that they have, you know, what it takes so far, but we need to see it in production. I things that you show me in the lab is different from stuff that you show me that's it's, it's down running on the street, running on the freeway. So these are the key things again that is selling about the battery. It stores more energy than the current batteries that we have in the market. Uh, number two is that it charges faster than the current batteries that we have in the market is lithium ion batteries and these guys are building a solid state battery and then number three is that the life of the battery lasts longer than the current batteries in the market because it doesn't use um, liquid it uses a solid um, uh, I think it was a cathode or whatever I don't know the details but they, they said the life of the battery lasts longer and then safety because it doesn't use this liquid um, it doesn't explode as much so it's safer it's not it's not flammable which is awesome and then last but not the least guys the cost of the battery is relatively cheaper which is good because this is what drives the price of most electric cars is the battery so again I know I've said this over and over I usually come back here just to make sure that you guys understand what you're investing in. Um, if you notice my style, I don't just come and tell you like, hey, this stock is going to pop. Just go out and buy it. I, that's not my strategy. I don't operate like that because that's not the way my brain works. I want to see, show you guys why you should consider investing in a stock. I tell you what the company does. I tell you the problem in the market that the company is solving. And then I can let you start figuring out if you want to get into it. Not just like, hey, go buy this because I think it's going to pop. No, here's a company. This is what they do. And this is the problem in the market that they're trying to solve. And I believe that that's a really, really tangible issue and needs a solution. So I'm going to consider investing. So that's my style. So again, guys, let me know in the comment section. Did you buy the dip on uh, quantum skip or you missed out on the dip and the guy if you did miss out on this on the dip please don't beat yourself up because this is just the market these are opportunities are going to come around over and over again so don't panic and go buy at the top again just wait because when this thing was trading at 131 i'm pretty sure everybody's like oh i missed out and some people probably bought at that 131 because their mindset was it's gonna keep going up so wait for it to come back to you so if you had just been patient from we're talking about december uh 22nd to december 29 if you were patient a little bit this thing will come back to you so you went from 131 to 96 dollars you could have saved a ton of money um, to invest at that particular point so again let me know in the comment section what you guys did and if you're new to the channel guys we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss out on your content and also if you're looking to get started with investing guys we boast he has the promotion that if you sign up and deposit hundred dollars you get four free stocks just to get you started and as always guys always do your homework guys don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated